Hello, welcome to my class today. We are going to be learning how to find the sum of addition problem and also learning the principle that changing the position of the addends will not change the sum. And also learning that any number you add to zero is going to be that number. Welcome. We are going to start this lesson by working with the first three exercises and then all the way to page nine. Let's start with exercise one, four plus four. This principle, changing the order of the adding does not apply to this because these numbers are the same. 4 and 4, if you switch them off position, the answer, I mean, they're going to look the same. So then 4 plus 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you add them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the answer here is 8. 4 plus 5. So you just, must just add one more to this 4. That will be equal to 9. So but 4 and 5, you can apply this rule to it. So it's the same as 5 plus 4. And the answer, you know what it is. It's going to be the same. 9, 5, and 0. In this exercise, we are going to apply that principle that says that any number you add to 0 is going to be that number. 5 plus 0 is going to be 5. And the same with 2 plus 0 is going to be 2. So, and if you switch them, 0 plus 5 is going to be the same principle too. I mean, so you can apply that also uh, to the other. You can switch them. Uh, you can switch the add-ins. 0 plus 5. And also you can add here 0 plus 2. This principle can be also applied to that, to this exercise. 3 plus 8. 3 plus 8 is the same as 8 plus 3. So if you, if you find the answer to one of them, so that answer is going to be repeated on the, uh, on the other one. 8 plus 3, you have 8, 9, 10, 11. So you have 8 here plus 3 more is going to be equal to 11. So then 11 is also here. 5 plus 5, say 5 and 5 more. You got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you have 5 here plus 5 you got here is equal to 10. 5 plus 4, you have 5. You have 4 more to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's equal to 9. This is this might be a different way of, of adding or you can do it in the traditional way. 5 plus 7, when I mean traditional, I means you have five on one hand one two three four five and then you have seven one two three four five six seven so then you you're going to add this together five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so then if you have twelve for here and you switch the add in here the answer is going to be the same seven plus seven so seven plus seven is the same as the same one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay if you change 7, 7 plus 7 is going to look the same. So that's why this principle doesn't apply to this. But 7 plus 8, it does. So 7 and 8 more. So I have here 7. I'm going to add one more to it. That will make it 8. So it's 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. If you add one more to it, that will be 7 plus 8. So that will be equal to 15. What about 3 plus 7? 3 plus 7. You have 3 here and you add 7 more to it. You have 3 and you add 7 more to it or you can switch seven and you have three more to it if i have seven and i add three more seven one two three i'm gonna count seven eight nine ten so <clears throat> this is ten three plus seven is gonna be what the same ten nine plus three you have nine tally marks already add three more to it one two three nine you count ten eleven twelve so here it is. So then 9 plus 3 is 12. So then 3 plus 9 is going to be also the same. 12. 6 plus 6. You have 6 already. You're going to add 6 more to it. 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then 12. Then you have 6 plus 5. I got 6 already. I'm going to add 5 to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the way how I solve this problem. I hope it can help you in somehow. Uh, you can pause the video to rewatch and listen to the audio in somehow. You can understand how to do this. On page 171, it says you work on your own. Working on your, mo on your own means that you have to answer this problem based on the way how we answer this. So any strategy that help you from page 170 can help you to solve page 171 working on your own like this video subscribe share and let's make math easy 
for our second grade students. Thank you.